Let's learn about grid lines, one of the new additions of Washan XP 2020. Grid lines are actually horizontal and vertical lines with headers, but they do much more than that because they can help you to organize your project content. Let's see how that's done. So if we go to objects and we are going to place a few columns, once we place them on the grids or on the intersection points of the lines, then we are going to see that these elements are bound to these points, which means that if there's going to be any change in your design later on, the changes would be updated. First, we position three columns and we make a few copies of them to make it more visible. So selecting all the elements, making duplicates is done very easily. So once we have positioned these nine columns all together, we are going to see that they are snapped to the grid. And if you click on any of the elements, you can track back where they actually are. If you can see the grid location, you see that these elements are tied to the grid. Now, let's see something interesting. Highlight the grid line and offset it. Once you do, not only the grid is going to move, but also all the elements which are tied to it. Let's try it with the, with a beam. If we draw a few beams, one there and another one over there, we are making a few copies again. We are going to see that the grids should comply with the beams as well. So making a few copies. And if we move the grid lines now, we are going to see that the beams would be cut and extended the way they are supposed to be. Offset it back. And the columns and the beams as well would be complied with the changes. One very important thing is that you need to know what is connected to the grid and what is not connected. And for that, there's a visual representation with which you can track the status of your objects. With this exciting new tool, handling your project content is a breeze.